I am in all black today because it's a funeral and we are laying your fears to rest. We are less than three months away from 2022. And as of yesterday, you should have started on your New Year's new me goals, okay? When are you going to stop hoping, praying, and wishing that your life look like one of them reels that you keep posting? When are you going to stop hoping and praying that your life look like one of them posts that you keep posting? When is your life going to actually look like one of the quotes that you always putting in your stories. I'm asking for a friend right now, okay? When are you actually gonna be a girl boss and stop commenting on the girl bosses? I'm asking for a friend. The life that you see people living, the things that you desire are not impossible for you. You gots to put in the work. You gots to stop making excuses for yourself. And you gots to believe that it is possible for you. It is you stopping you, no one else. It is your thoughts. It is the things that you are telling yourself on a daily basis that is stopping you from achieving your goals. If you want to know what you are thinking, look around you. What does your room look like? What does your apartment look like? What does your friendships look like? What does your relationships look like? What is the job that you are in? Are you complaining about it or doing something about it? Look at all of these things in your life and that will show you the reflections of your mindset. It will show you the reflection of your thoughts. And now that you have thought about it, what are you going to do about it? Now that you have thought about it, what are you going to do about it? Because y'all be walking around here thinking you got nine lives like a cat, baby. You ain't promised 200 years. You ain't promised 10 more years. You're not even promised tomorrow. So when are you going to start on your dreams? When are you going to start on your goals? When are you truly going to start living the life that you want to live? Because I get plenty of DMs. Many of DMs of people who are scared to just eat vegetables and fruits, who are scared to go to the gym, who can't lose a stomach. So if you're telling me you can't lose a weight, if you're telling me you have no self-discipline, no self-control to work on you and your body, you are never going to go after that real dream out there. You are never going to buy the house. You are never going to get the apartment. You are never going to get the job because you don't believe it's possible for you. When are you going to get out of that toxic ass relationship? When are you really going to start working on your body? When are you going to put down the cookies, carbs, and the cake? When is it going to happen? Because if it's not today, it's never going to happen. It ain't going to happen on the first of the year. It ain't going to happen on the 31st. And it might happen for the first 10 days. And after that, baby, you're going to be back to October 1st, where we are today. When are you going to start taking your life more serious? When are you going to start believing in yourself? Because a lot of times, deep down inside of you, what lives in your self-conscious, what lives in the deepest part of you, is that you don't think you deserve it. You don't think you deserve it. And if you really thought you deserved it, your life would be a reflection of that. You will go after it. If you thought you were worthy of it, you would get on the call. If you believed that it was possible for you, you would put on a waist trainer and go to the gym. You wouldn't make excuses. You would lose the weight. You would be in a better relationship. You wouldn't tolerate friends who treat you like shit. You wouldn't have to post a million quotes about how you're going to be a millionaire and you actually would be one. Period. When we want something, when we really want something, when we desire it, when it's deep down in the nooks and crannies of us, when it lives in our subconscious, we don't take no for an answer. We go after it full fucking force. Okay? I'm celebrating a New Year's goal and it's not even New Year's. Get on your shit, beautiful people. Get on it today. We are laying your fears to rest today we are not waiting for december 31st we are not waiting for december 1st we're not even waiting for january 1st we are starting today on your new you new year's goals and forget new year's new you we don't wait for new year's this is a lifetime of you being the best version of you you should show up every day as the best version of you you should wake up every day as wanting to be the best version of you ain't no days off i'm wanting to be the best version of you you know what the best version of you waking up looking like I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to take my ass to the gym for 25 minutes. I'm going to eat a cucumber and tomato because my body deserves that and not some soda. I'm going to have the best relationships, whether they be romantic or platonic. I'm going to feed myself, self, the best thoughts. It's not what other people say about me. It's what I say about me. I am beautiful. I am gorgeous. I am worthy. I am deserving of the best. I am the creme de la creme, baby. Ask about me. Purr. Okay? 
That's the energy you should have for yourself. And that can't come from no man. That can't come from no woman. That can't come from your mammy or your grandmammy. That got to come from you. And then, and only then, will you live the life that you truly want to live. Will you attract the things that you want to attract. And will you will stand in the fullness, the fullness of who you really are. It starts with you. Period. Happy New Year's, because I started yesterday. Happy New Year's, because I started yesterday. Who's joining me? Book the call. Book it. Your life deserve it. You deserve it. You need to talk to me. Purr.